Trey Lance, you already know, he made headlines when Cowboys owner Jerry Jones acquired him this week. Remember, they did not consult Mike McCarthy in the process or Dak Prescott. But yesterday, Dak responded to critics of Jones' handling of the move, saying, quote, I think they read a little too much into it. Close quote. James Jones, you want a Super Bowl with the head coach named who? Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. There's a lot of drama in Dallas. A little bit. But the question for me is this. Dak Prescott, yeah. he has a backup behind him now in Trey Lance. Mm -hmm. Many thought very highly of Trey Lance. Is Dak actually playing for his job this season? You know what? Yesterday, um, you said something. I, I'm trying to get it right, quote for quote, but you, you can help me out. You said how it starts. Relationships end, how relationships begin. Yeah. How did this Dallas Cowboys relationships start with, with Dak Prescott? Kicked out Tony Romo, 13-year starter. Tony Romo playing at a high level every year. Dallas Cowboys in the mix, in the playoffs. Tony was not winning the big game. So you know what they said? You got to go. All right, we're going to help you get on TV, but you got to get up out of here. Dak Prescott show, right? We've seen him do it with Kirk Cousins. Six seasons with the Washington football team, right? You're not winning the big game. You got to go. Your dude, Donovan McNabb, 11, 11 seasons with the Eagles. You're not winning the big game. You got to go. We done seen it with quarterback after quarterback. Jimmy G. In the Super Bowl, in NFC championships, you know what? We got to get better at that spot. You got to go. Dak Prescott after this season, has no more guaranteed money. He, he get $40 million, and next season he has no more guaranteed money up there, right? You have a young quarterback making $5 million. If the Dallas Cowboys lose this season like they did last season because of Dak Prescott, you better believe it that Jerry Jones did not make this move for nothing and Dak Prescott is fighting for his job. Dak has to go out there and play well or Dak will not be in the Dallas Cowboys uniform. He will either be traded, they can't just release him, but they will get him up out of there and they will go young. So he is, he has to play well. They have to be, he has to be the reason they win. Or I see Dak out of there. What are we talking about right now? Are we serious? Dak Prescott's Jerry Jones' favorite. I mean, it's obvious. The guy go out there and so leads Tony the league Romo. in picks, and he's still going to have his job. Let's just talk about the, the real facts here. What's the pressure? Trey Lance? Is that the pressure? Yo. Are we being serious here? Trey Lance couldn't beat out the last pick in the draft. Couldn't beat him out. He couldn't beat out, who was that other guy? Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold. We all know what Sam Darnold is. Mm -hmm. So for you to say that pressure at the quarterback position, if he doesn't deliver, is crazy. Okay, let's, so let's, why trade for him, though, Shady? For, for, let's, let's, let's dive deep into it. Go, right? into, it. go really to the deep end, big dog. So, so Take we, off the floaties. We all can say this, that playing quarterback for the Niners is, is a blessing. You have to do a lot for that. Mm -hmm. I've, I've watched so many different quarterbacks come out there. Kyle um, Shanahan, um, um, your guy, RG3. Yep. His career was, was, was above average. Average, would you say? But when he played with Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, went crazy. Rookie of the year, Idiot. right? Uh, Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub, another one. Right? Matt Ryan. Yes, sir. I MVP. think Matt Ryan's a good quarterback, though. Yeah, yeah. But he was way, way better MVP when he had Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. Jimmy G. You brought Jimmy G up. Yeah. I played with the Chiefs in 2019. We had him championship game. Mm -hmm. The whole game plan for the defense was, we got to get to third down. Third and long, we want him to throw the ball. We want the quarterback to throw the ball. Yeah. As in, they're not that good of a team if he's throwing the ball. Yeah. They ran the ball left and right, left yep. and right. They played the Packers, Packers, Green Bay, and Green Bay. Ran all over. They had 200 yards rushing. rushing. Yes, sir. I and remember. your boy, he, yeah. did, he, he threw for what? 80 yards, 100 yards, something like that? Yeah. So my thing is, if you can't be a good quarterback in Kyle Shanahan's offense, where they run the ball and they play great defense, mm -hmm. no matter who the defense coordinator is, mm -hmm. how can you go to the Cowboys and, and, and play and, and beat out Dak Prescott? I understand everything you're saying. That's crazy right? to me. And you, you think that they ain't watch film on him and all that? Why would you trade for him, a young quarterback? I, I don't that, know. That's I, all I'm I saying. Don't, I don't know that answer, but this is what I do know. I do. I know when I watch tape on Trey Lance, he does not belong at starting quarterback in the NFL. we do know when you do trade for somebody, eventually you want to see them play. That's what we do. I'll, well, here, I'll split the difference between oh. the two of you. I, I do think there is pressure on Dak Prescott yeah, this year. I it. do think if he doesn't get past the divisional round, there will be real mm -hmm. conversations about mm -hmm. whether or not they're going to. Talk to him, work with him into a new Talk contract and where the future is because the roster is so good and because there's already enough smoke there. Mm -hmm. There's the, Jerry, I, I want a, a quarterback controversy. They trade for Trey Lance. 
there's we're all talking about how Dak lost the game. Mm -hmm. Really, two years in a row against the same team, if we're being honest. Yeah. However, I'm with Shady on uh, Trey Lance. It was the third string quarterback in San saying. Francisco where Kyle Shanahan <laughs> moved up in the draft, used three first round picks and a third round pick to acquire him. So while I do think that it's it's sending a message and maybe it's an expensive message to send with a fourth round pick. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking that maybe if they get them in the system, because we know first round draft picks get a lot of chances, yes, they do. maybe they're feeling like we, they're confident that they can fix him. Fine. But I think two things can be true. I don't think that Trey is necessarily the future because they didn't want to keep him where they drafted him and they invested an obscene amount of draft capital to bring him in. But I do think that Dak is up against it this year, and this is a year that he's going to have to So deliver. you think it's not Trey Lance, but the pressure's on Dak to ball, and you think it could be another quarterback coming in there? Trey can't start right now. He couldn't no, beat out Brock right Purdy now. or Sam if Darnold. If Dak stinks it up this year I'm and like, throws a pick to, to lose right. a divisional game, and we don't think it's well, well, Trey Lance, do you think the Cowboys go try to get somebody yes, else? Yes, I think if, if That's Trey, where you if say Trey the pressure coming from. Yeah, if Trey doesn't develop this year, which there's, he's not going to see the field unless there's a, a bunch of injuries, if he doesn't develop this year, then yes, I think it will be somebody else. And I do think that having Trey at depth in that move is, is sending a message. But he can't play right now. So I don't think it's an immediate message. I don't think James should be right. Sure. But I think you are. Thank you, sir. Um, and to some degree, Joy, you're, you're airing on that side as well. Here's a dilemma. I, I really, if I, was, if I was choosing off my own wisdom and discernment, I'm riding with Shady all day. Yeah. But the problem is, who are the Dallas Cowboys? Since Troy Aikman, they have not drafted a quarterback in the top 100 of the NFL draft but one time. It was Quincy Carter out of Georgia. Quincy Carter. Since Troy Aikman, 1989, that's before I was born, America, the Dallas Cowboys have not drafted a quarterback in the, in the top 100 outside of Quincy Carter. So what this means is the Cowboys don't like to spend a lot on quarterbacks. They just don't. Tony Romo, free agent. Free agent. Dak Prescott. Fourth round pick. Trey Lance, you utilize a fourth round pick. Mm -hmm. And so if you are the Dallas Cowboys and you're Jerry Jones, Jerry don't like to go out there and spend a lot on quarterbacks. And even Troy Aikman was Jimmy Johnson's pick, mm -hmm. the head coach, not Jerry Jones. Mm -hmm. So to me, the reason that there is pressure on Dak Prescott, the reason that Dak Prescott is playing for his job, though he shouldn't be, because what are we talking about? Turn on the tape on Trey Lance. But the reason that he is is because... Jerry doesn't like to use a lot on his future QBs. And I do think, to James's point, if Dak goes out there and Dak is the reason mm -hmm. that the Cowboys lose, mm -hmm. which he was, yeah. then you might make the same mistake that the Niners made. Yeah. Because keep in mind, Jimmy G was good enough to get the Niners to a Super Bowl. I believe he could have won it. He didn't. So the history says he wasn't good enough to win it. But you tried to replace Jimmy G for Trey Lance, mm -hmm. and he went to a Super Bowl. Yeah. You don't think they can replace Dak for Trey Lance? But that was an unknown Trey Lance. Mm -hmm. That was a we right. can make Trey Lance this raw material into a starting quarterback in the NFL. We've seen Trey Lance. Like, now we know him. Mm -hmm. We know what he is. And, and to Shady's point, he didn't work with Shanahan, who makes everybody work. Correct. So... I, I just, I'm in between it. I do think that Dak is under a lot of pressure this year, and I do think if they run up against it again this year, and he is once again the reason why they don't move on, then the pressure's gonna, gonna tick up, and there will be real conversations about moving on from him. But not because of Trey Lance. Like, with Trey, See, Trey couldn't play in San Francisco. That's, and that's my thing. It's like, okay, now, now any good team, right, I get you. If, if Dak goes out there and has the same year he had like last year, I would replace him too, right? But my, my question is, Trey Lance is not the answer. I agree with All you. All these other yeah, options we talk about. I agree but with you. My thing is, when y'all speaking on Trey Lance, and I hate to do this, but like, can we be serious here? I, look, you know I'm saying, I turn the tape on, right? Sure. I, he does nothing special. At I all. always look at Andy Reid. Always says, you know, when you build a team up, Shady, you know, we you, you, talk about linemen because I'm like, yeah. I don't like this lineman, and he's playing, and why's he playing? And he always saying, you won't get every player won't be, be special. Yeah. But if you get a player that does something special, you can mm -hmm. build on that. Yeah. When I watch Trey Lance, I don't see nothing special. I, and, so for and you I to understand. say he's going to take over America's team as a quarterback, it's crazy. No, to I me. understand what you're saying, and and you're bringing up Trey Lance because Trey Lance is on the roster. But you the, brought him up. The, I, didn't I didn't bring him up. The question is, is Dak Prescott's job? up for grabs. You better believe it. Like Joy said, it could be another quarterback. It's pressure oh, oh, on I'm okay. Dak. Okay, we're on the same page then. You got, you I, get... I thought you said that you said they drafted the no, players. They like, won the play eventually. And, and don't okay. get me wrong, it's truth in joking, right? It, it's truth in joking. Jerry didn't talk to nobody and went up and gave up a fourth-round pick for this. And yeah, we joking because we're watching the film with our own eyes that Trey sorry. 
and our Trey can't play the game, and he was a. Th- so, but right. Jerry Jones, that's a fourth round pick. But the that thing he gave up for James, my thought process is like it doesn't matter what I think about Trey Lance. Doesn't matter what Joy thinks no. about him. Don't matter what Jay thinks about him. Doesn't matter what Two Five thinks about him. I wouldn't have given up a fourth round pick for Trey Lance. Exactly. I think, like Shady said, he said it facetiously, but to some degree in seriousness, Trey Lance belongs in a deve- developmental NFL yeah. league. So I wouldn't have given up a fourth round pick for Trey, but. Jerry Jones did. Exactly. So he sees something in him. Exactly. If I were the Indianapolis Colts, I probably wouldn't have acquired Carson Wentz after you left Philadelphia, but they did. If I were the Washington Commanders, I sure as heck wouldn't have acquired Carson Wentz after he laid an egg in a must-win game versus the Jacksonville Jaguars to go to yeah, playoffs. I, I, I disagree. Yeah, but I disagree. even that, go, go ahead, Jay. I, I, you know I disagree? Because I've... I've been in this league long enough to know that, like, coaches, especially coordinators, head coaches, they, they arrogant. Of course. I can change him. Yeah. Right? Hold on. Yeah. But change him on what I've seen. We've mm-hmm. seen Carson right. Wentz play no at a high level. Yeah. Did we not? MVP yeah. level. Correct. So you said, I, you know what? I can get that back out of you again. I agree. Sean Payton goes to Denver. Sure. Uh, Russell Wilson played terrible last year. Yep. But hold up. I seen him play at a high level. I get that again. We ain't seen Trey Lance play average yet. To say I'm gonna get that out. What, what I think but they believe be, is what I think they believe. What they, what they believe. Tell me what they believe. They believe in what they saw in college. I don't believe it. He really played in college. I, I, I agree with you all. I of all of you think Trey <laughs> so Lance is worse. You, okay, like of, of, of okay. as bad so as you, you, you think you Trey Lance is. Which, you think they, I think Trey okay. Lance is. Of course. Okay. I wouldn't have given up a fourth round pick okay. for Trey. Okay. okay. Like I, I've said from two years ago, arguing with Joy and Dave Hellman. Yeah. Like yeah, I wouldn't play Trey. We like, all I've agree. been said we're Trey should play. But our tone sounds like we're <laughs> arguing. <laughs> yeah, because like when I first heard, I'm like, wait, wait. So we said the pressure, because I always said that needs pressure. I mean, like, what's he doing to keep him? Right. right. Yeah. But then when we start talking about the Trey Lancer, I'm like, hold up, we are we trying to say that he he gonna make a trouble or, or pressure but because that, of But that's Trey? what I'm saying. We done seen sorry quarterbacks get traded for yes. and play. Yes. The Sam Darnold from the Jets getting yes. traded to the Panthers. Can I, can I Carson chime Carson Wentz was garbage with the James, Colts. James, let me chime the, in. The Washington let me, Commanders let me, still said, here's, give us him for 20 million, we can fix it. Here's him. what's fascinating, and I, I couldn't believe I heard this type of honesty from an NFL player. If y'all recall, Taylor Heineke uh, played, I believe, against you uh, in the playoffs. He was a starting quarterback for the yeah, Commanders. Yeah. Washington had acquired Carson Wentz. They asked Taylor Heineke last year in training camp, you know, hey, what do you think your role is this season? He said, well, you see how much money Carson making, right? He gonna play. And Heineke was like, it don't matter that I'm better. Yes. Like, this organization, based on how this organization structures things, not every organization, not Pete Carroll's That's organizations, true. but on this organization, Carson Wentz will play. No right. Doubt. And so, to some degree, maybe to James's point, based on the structure of the Dallas Cowboys, if you acquire a cheap Trey Lance, and you know Jerry Jones likes his low-round, cheap quarterbacks, you know he didn't even want to pay Dak. And you got a big-time there, defense. I could believe. I could believe it. I don't, I don't want to believe it, and I'm not on that side, but I could believe it. But you're it. probably right, and this is why we can't really be serious about the competitive nature of, the Cowboys. of this team. Like, Trey Lance is not a starting quarterback. He's not a backup right quarterback. Now, no. He's the third string quarterback right. on the team that spent three first round picks and a third round pick to get him. Correct. That was there that they, they, they want him. There's nothing more that San Francisco wants than for him to be the starting quarterback. And they couldn't even make him the backup quarterback. And now he's in Dallas with a fourth round pick. And that's, that, you're probably right. That's yeah, probably well, what they think is gonna happen. Well, I'll say this. Say he's number 15, that? he's number 15. Yeah, yeah. I'll speak for Philadelphia when I say this. Philadelphia, if number 15's on the center, we can't wait. We can't be happy. Because if he's there, we go more W's, more wins, more picks, more touchdowns. More life. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.